All right, what is up all you gorgeous people? I'm here to bring you a very important Ethereum update. I see some interesting things happening with the technicals that I wanna delve into. And as well, the first ever Ethereum ETF being traded on a stock exchange in the world just happened. So let's talk about it. If you like the sound of that, I'd like to ask you to please like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. It really does help with the channel. We appreciate you who um, you guys who help us out, and you, you know you guys get to stay up to date with all this important TA and news. So <clears throat> let's start off with the TA here. Um, a few interesting things, I kind of talked about this yesterday, but I think it's worth mentioning again, which is the four hour is beginning to show signs of a possible trend reversal. So we had a bullish crossover here on the four hour that didn't last at all, but it seems like we may still try and have a bullish crossover. The MACD is making higher highs, histogram taken up, and the RSI is making lower highs and lower lows. But it's still in a macro uptrend on the four hour, as we can see here. So I think Ethereum on the four hour is showing signs of a potential reversal as well. We've also found support on the 200 EMA on the four hour, and we're still testing whether we want to break up or down below this macro channel as well i've drawn out here lines of support and resistance here with these channel with these channel walls i i believe as well we are also in a descending triangle okay there's many ways you can draw this but i believe we are up against uh, significant uh support on many fronts here if we look at the daily yeah so see our daily i think if we fell below the 20 ema which it looks like we are on the daily the 50 ema would be our next line of support and it looks like it might line up with significant support at the 515 if we zoom out we see that the 515 is a very critical support slash resistance level from back in 2017 2018 so If we assume that we're breaking down, that we may we may take a few more days, a few more uh, you know hours, a few more weeks to break down, uh, it makes sense that the 50 EMA could be at around the 515 level. So if we can hold that into as support, we'd still be within the boundaries of this descending triangle and still in a macro uptrend for sure. So as well here, the uh, 5 490 makes uh, sense as support resistance uh, as as um as resistance flipped into support because. As we can see here, that's where we peaked out uh, before, back in September. As well, we had sideways price action uh, over here back in mid-November. As well, when we dumped, we found support at the 490. So there is where we can also find support as well as the 447, 448. There's also significant support, sideways price action here, uh, a peak here. So as well, we have support there lining up with our 100 EMA on the daily. The 100 EMA on the daily is very, very significant, guys. We can see here. Um, after we pumped in July and we had a correction, we found support on the 100 EMA, so on the daily. Um, as we get to these larger time frames, guys, like the, the four hour, the daily, the weekly, the, the larger the, the EMA, the more significant it is as support and resistance. So, you know, falling to the, the 20 and uh, the, the 150 uh, EMA on the daily as support would be very significant, very strong support. So, as well, uh, I think the 390 and the 370 are very significant support areas as well. But I mean, if we fall down to those levels, uh, we're, we're, <laughs> we're in trouble. But it, it is possible, guys. It is possible. Ultimately, you know, we could still uh, fall within this descending triangle for a while and still be macro bullish because this would just be a correction and it, we'd still be making a, a lower, a higher low. So. You know, those are just things to look out for, guys. Now, in terms of what's going on with Ethereum, big news with Ethereum, the first ever Ethereum ETF in the world debuts on the Toronto Stock Exchange, okay? Um, what is it here? QETH.U is the first ever Ethereum um, Ethereum ETF. They're currently selling for around uh, $10.80. They're currently at around $11 uh, a stock. So that's just kind of interesting, guys. This provides an on-ramp. An on -ramp for institutional investors to get involved in cryptocurrency without actually having to directly buy and hold them, store them, sell them themselves. Um, I think something like this helps to improve adoption 
just uh, you know makes the, the the legacy markets more comfortable with the crypto asset class. And so I think generally this is just a good move uh, moving forward. Um, you know, if you're in, in Canada or uh, because I believe Americans are excluded from participating in this, but if you're in Canada and you want to participate in crypto and you know you don't necessarily want to buy and store it yourself, this is one option that you can consider. So this is kind of bullish news, very interesting news in my opinion. Uh, I, I think this is good to see and good for the space in general. I'll leave a link down in the description below to this article as well. Guys, um, in, in the description below, uh, there's links to sign up uh, to join our Twitter and our Discord. Guys, we talk crypto trades, uh, analysis, news, all that good stuff with our uh, Discord and our Twitter. So links to join that down in the description below as well. Guys, we are now partnered with Bybit. Bybit is an amazing, uh, simple to use, intuitive exchange. If you guys want to trade these markets... Um, I highly encourage you guys to check out Bybit. Link for that down in the description below. They're also doing a Bitcoin giveaway, so you can participate in that. Um, please be very careful in leverage trading because it can be very risky. And uh, yeah, let's let's delve into the short term here, see if we can gain any knowledge. So, <laughs> okay. So guys, on the hourly, we had a bullish crossover. This, see guys, this could potentially go up, although. We are up against significant resistance with we're, with all our EMAs being above us. So we're still we're still looking bearish, guys. Um, I would still expect downtrending for sure. I would not be the least bit surprised. Um, but just understand that if we look at the four hour, we're seeing signs of a potential reversal, especially if we can maintain above the 200 EMA on the four hour. This is good news. If we cannot maintain above the 200 EMA on the four hour, we're very likely to see continued downtrending. Okay, guys, that is it for now. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. We're trying to get to 2,000 subs before the end of the month. If you guys could help us out, appreciate the hell out of you. Uh,